the topic, topic we are going, going to discuss today is to find, find the, the nth term, term of, of an EP. To define what an EP is, we must know about some other terms also. The first term is the sequence. Sequence is arrangement of terms. According to, to some, some fixed, fixed rule. rule. For, For example, example One, four, nine, sixteen, and so. Here, Here the, the rule followed follow is that each term, term of this sequence is square of consecutive natural, natural numbers, numbers starting, starting from one. Like, like one is square of one, four, square of two, nine, square of three, and sixteen, square of, of four. four. Next, Next term, term that, that we, we should, should know about, about is progression. Progression is arrangement of terms. According to some fixed mathematical rule. That, that is uh, like, like two, two, five, eight, eleven, and so. so. Here, Here the mathematical rule followed, followed is that, that we, are we are adding, adding three, three, three to each term, term to obtain its next succeeding term. term. So, so we can, can say, say that every sequence is a rotation, but not, not every rotation is a sequence. sequence. Or, or we, we can, can say, or, or we, we can, can redefine, redefine like, like this. 
arrangement of terms according to some fixed rule is a sequence and if that particular fixed rule is fixed or definite rule is a sequence and if that fixed or definite rule is a mathematical rule then it is called a proration now proration If the, the mathematical, mathematical rule followed is, is of addition, then, then the progression is called. Now, uh, now, now we will try, try to understand what arithmetic progression is. is. Like, like we are already, already defined that the progression is a series of terms according to some, some fixed mathematical rule. rule. Arithmetic rule. If, if that, that mathematical, mathematical rule is of, of addition, addition, then, then it is called arithmetic progression, and if it is of multiplication, then it is called geometric progression. Now, now we will try, try to understand al what arithmetic progression is. is. Let's, Let's consider, consider an example. example. Two, Two, five, eight, eleven, and, and so. Here, Here to, to each preceding term, term, three is added to obtain its next subsequent term. Let's, Let's consider, consider one, one more example. example. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nine, and, and so. Here, nine, five, and, and so. so. Here we, we can, can see, see that, that from each term, term 4 is being subtracted to obtain its next, next subsequent term. term. But, but instead, instead of saying that, that we are subtracting 4, we can say that, that to each term, term minus 4, 4 is being added to obtain its next, next subsequent term. term. So hence, hence we can, can say that, that arithmetic progression is a progression in, in which each subsequent term, term is being, being obtained by, by adding, adding a fixed number or, or a constant, constant to its, its preceding, preceding term. term. Hence, Hence, now let's, let's, con let's, let's try, try to understand what, what the general, general form of N and EB can, can be. Let's, Let's consider, consider the, that, that the first term of the A B is A is denoted by small a. a. The next, next term, term let, let it denoted it by A plus D. D. Here, Here D, D is, is the fixed fix or constant that we are adding to the, the first, first term, term to obtain the, the second. Now, now same, same uh, the, 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 the difference between any two terms, terms in an AB always remains the same. So hence, if the if first term is A and the second term is A plus D, D the difference between these two terms, terms is T. Hence, the third term, term should be B. A plus 3D.